Good morning. I have an awful headache. I don't know why. I just woke up with it. It's like behind my eyes. It sucks. It's like 8 o'clock. 8.30. I don't know. We got shoes everywhere. Oh. Well, that was good timing. How are you? Hey, good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Yeah. You too. You got a package. We don't need keys because our phone is our key for the Tesla. You can't come. I'll see you in a minute. Boom. Full clips. We don't play no games. Stay strapped. You're staying here too. <sighs> Alright. Tesla's already been technically on because you have an app on your phone. And I turned on the heat a minute ago. A few minutes ago. It'll tell me exactly. 15 minutes ago. Nice and warm on the inside. 8 degrees inside the car. Clutch. Into the garage. In the garage. So this charge is hella slow. This is like charging a fucking... Charging it this way is like charging a damn... I don't know. Nothing good. It's slow. It charged all day yesterday. You get three miles per hour that it charges that way. That's crazy slow. So we ordered the actual battery pack. I'm gonna tap the key card. Tesla. <laughs> Why would my fucking phone not be a key all of a sudden? Hello? What the fuck? My... <laughs> Key is not working. Oh, this is great. <laughs> oh. But I can remotely unlock. I just don't know how to use the shit. So I unlocked it. It's all good. <sighs> Thought I fucked up for a second. But I didn't. <sighs> nice and toasty in here though. There's a way to also set up the garage key. I don't know where that is. Let's still get earned. We'll figure that out later. This guy's supposed to like go in your wallet, I guess. So I'm gonna put that in my wallet now. <laughs> What up? And Kodak. This is a great angle, by the way. I, I was just my thinking bad, with the. Gotta get this two <laughs> years. Yeah. The thing is, holding. Yeah, I need the stick because I can't hold it this way either. I put it on the very corner, to say the least. <laughs> Better than Ooh. my face being completely hidden by the iPad. Nice. I know you want shit to be your vlog, but you ain't got the chops. <laughs> um, so, this is where it gets funky. Funky, funky. It's nice with the big map, I'll tell you. Oh, it more like a scene out of a movie than the set of a rap video shoot. That Nina hit that pussy, make that ground shake. I, I hit him five times, that's a pound kick. Hollow boys made that situation sticky. Oh, we're calibrated, dog. It shows the 18 wheeler in front of us. You are like a winning car. On your black, I mean, spin the slow. Hit you up with that give and go. I can't tell me you flat line. Black bull. All that way, he ain't gonna live. Take my black bull. All that way, he ain't gonna Wow. Look, ah, it smells so good out here. Surprise. What the <laughs> fuck? Dude, let me get in there and we'll roll up on brand. Wait, leave it, leave it. I bet it. Oh, you just kind of got to give it like a. We're used to old cars. I know, everything in it. It even tells you that on one thing if you slam the middle console thing down. Green goes, please close it gently. Doing our thing. Ain't no chicken wings. Just a bunch of strings that have been intertwined and made into. Well, dang. Got large Great day. One double XL one. Oh. Right handle, son. Yeah. Don't get a ticket. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> no, I said don't get a ticket because that's what happened to me. Whenever I get a new car is when I get tickets. I remember when I got my first you Sop. Have that have was a license so to drive fast. You don't have to have a license to drive these. What are you talking about, officer? Yeah. I'm not license registration. They hand the Tesla app. There's a Tesla charging station in the, in the coming. Additional cameras calibrating. We're still 96% away, so we're not done yet. Stacking these shoes up. Got pictures of them all. Let's take a look at what we've got in here. Pulling it all. Some of it never even worn. Looks a little disastrous right now, but we are organizing, and uh, we'll have an update soon. I love that they sent you a Jordan shirt. It's been about two hours of taking pictures, stocking, organizing. I feel like a massive headache. Massive headache. I don't even know what to call this. People are gonna start biting my style. So I just need to clean those shoes? Yeah, just that little pile, and then I'll take those pictures tomorrow and throw them right up in with the rest. There's still like 100 items. Yeah, can't see straight. Nice. I'm gonna have a Tesla tank. The lookbook still isn't out. It's late. We're going to go charge the car. Because <laughs> it's on 90%, or it's on like 10%. It is not charged. So we're gonna go charge it and go eat. Exclusive club because these red lights are all fucking lit up and shit. Look at this shit. I wonder where the Tesla charging we station is. Like we're like on futuristic motherfuckers. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, y'all saved a spot for me. What's up, boys? 
Little T. Tesla. And that's it? That's it. All right. Good morning. I do believe we left off at a Tesla gas filling station. What the fuck? A Tesla super charge station. It's early. I've been going through all the stuff that I'm getting rid of. Still a lot of shoes left. Blah, 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 blah. Probably gonna go through this once more, make sure there's nothing else that I could get rid of. Just make some room for 2019, because this room's already too much. Spent a bunch of money this week. We're going to Japan. Time to get rid of some stuff. And speaking of which, my computer barely works. We have an early appointment with uh, a specialist because the MacBook keyboard is not working for shit. It hasn't been working for a while. And there's actually a recall on this specific Mac and keyboard. Uh, what else are we doing this morning? We're waiting on the lookbook still from Scruff. He worked on that all night last night. I think he's been kind of sick. What's up? Nothing. Got into my first Facebook beef in about a year. <laughs> Hey, get this in a place that works. What are you doing? Why is it down there? We gotta get a... I don't know why you can't just hold it. I can. I, it I can. We gotta get the stick again. Well, the stick's at the house wherever you left it. I don't have it. Maybe in my car. Oh, well then there you go. That's why we don't have it. Irrelevant stop and, to the... You stop and get you a fucking this is irrelevant selfie to the, stick. You need a selfie stick? No, no, no. I'm good. No, this is fine right now. Sure. Workers grievance. I didn't even have a selfie like when you do your exposed vlog. Here's why I quit. Like on the front like this. I don't know if you guys noticed, but Teddy just stopped using a selfie well, stick. He on, thinks my I'm arm is just as good. He said, you are a selfie stick. <laughs> And I'm not. I'm not a selfie stick. I'm Ernest. Dirty International. Dirty, dirty Ernest. I see, wasn't filming you. You yeah, see my new Twitter name, Dirty International? No. Travis called me that. You should have waited morning. until we got. I just stole my Supreme beanie. We should have waited until we got to. Uh, <laughs> In Japan? Yeah. I know. Well, that's where it came from, but because we're going. God, it's coming up quick, dog. I leave in like six days. You leave in six, I leave in like eight or nine. It's crazy. I'm Your excited. fucking kith order's not even gonna be here. I've time. never been so nervous about traveling. Not nervous, but like, usually I'm like, we're hitting the road, let's fucking go. Holy shit, I'm going to Japan, this is weird. I don't know, it's just, I don't know, I'm never usually like scared about the cultures or like, oh, it's gonna be so different. This time I'm just like, I don't know. Chop your hands off, son. Yeah. Back in the 90s when they fucking, that American got caned. Oh that yeah, that was in Thailand, right? Yeah, that's gonna be you. When we're in Japan or whatever, wherever we are, we have to just, we need to set times to have meet, meetings every morning in the States. Like, Scruff's gonna have to be briefed. Yeah, there yeah, I was thinking that too. What's the hour difference? I can't remember exactly, but it's basically like when it's 9 a.m. here, it's 10 p.m. there. I just remember the last time that when I went, I only had like a real specific window to talk to my chick because she was only gonna be awake for a certain amount of time. Yeah. Teddy's lost, I'm and the car's lost. lost. Everyone's lost. lost. lost you know who's all. not lost? I'm not lost. I didn't get us lost. I'm not, I'm not taking U turns. I'm not lost at all. I didn't take a U turn either. That's a fucking cul de sac. <laughs> it's man. a cul de sac. Yeah, it doesn't that count. It doesn't count as a U turn. I don't know if you know. <laughs> I just put in the fucking address. I'm gonna laugh my ass off if it's the wrong fucking. Now turn left onto South Jasper Street. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, Denver Tech yeah. Center, I guess. Mm. I just followed the fucking I'm just celebrated. I'm just celebrating. When you follow the driving. GPS, you literally take the wrong fucking I way. Know. I followed it to the marker. What are you talking? It's not the same thing, you fucking cock. You know what else isn't the same thing? Is your fucking visor pulled down in my fucking eyes so I can't what see visor? anything. Oh, yeah. That shouldn't be in the way. How is that not in the way of seeing what the fuck is coming up the highway over there? You don't look because when you drive, you drive like a fucking asshole. You don't pay attention. Oh, this is great. You just making shit up. I don't even know what the options are. Now, how long's the repair take? I don't know. We'll probably have to leave the computer there. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. In what world do you live in? No, I know, but I'm just wondering. You're I gonna just... sit there while they repair the computer like Geppetto? And... Oh, I'm just hoping it's done before you leave, is what I'm saying. Done before I leave what? For Japan. Then they're gonna give me another fucking computer and it's not. Nice. I don't know who you think you're dealing with, son. They better hope the computer's repaired. They're probably gonna look at it and be like, yeah, we fucked this one up. It was one of the first ones. Here's a new computer. Yeah, I thought that dude was saying it might be under that, uh... It is. Oh. Yeah, so maybe they'll just give me one. I don't know what you're wiling about today. I'm not wiling. I can't get my nose. Because your fucking stupid face is too big for that child-ass mask. Never your mouth looking motherfucker. The dudes know? at the coffee shop were like, Oh, I like your hat. What's the SG mean? Oh, it's Sniper Gang. Matter of fact, Matter my, of fact sniper my, gang. my favorite rapper. You guys ever hear Kodak Black? I'm putting this down for a minute. We got enough entertainment for a century. The screen just turned off. Weird that it went black, though. Yeah. 
gonna Google that. I'm sure it just like refreshed for some stupid ass reason. Can't drive my car like what's broke my iPad. <laughs> yes, seriously. Every time. Your iPad, I got to get the iPad replaced. Yeah. Oh, 17th one this month. <laughs> you realize if you punch your screen, you're not gonna be able to go home, right? Oh yeah. Fuck you! We out here. Yeah, Leaned out, cuts, chopped, and screwed. Up in the Tesla dog to stock some more fucking shoes and clothes for you motherfuckers. Then I'm going to get a haircut and a beard fucking trim. I hate for those of you that have been complimenting me on the crib. Back to the crib. I know, I know. Back up. Hi. We just got here, we're all fucking crazy. I didn't hear you were being crazy. Whoa. Yeah. We just had to get all gully at the micro center. Yeah. Why? Smack some people up. I made an appointment for my computer and then they like made me make another appointment when I got there. What? Micro center. You got a guy. Hey, you got an apple guy. Hey. Give me a couple of free apple stickers. Hey, Aaron, yeah. thanks for taking your shoes off. Oh, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm out here. <laughs> I can't have extra steps. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, you're not. I mean, I'm not sorry, but I'm sorry that you're disappointed. <laughs> Slightly. Do you think that I could take this joint and flip it while it's lit and catch it in my mouth? No. Try, there's a lot of things you could burn. What? Like your mouth, your shirt, your pants, or your shoes. <laughs> your wife. I guess well first. <laughs> Whew. Yeah. Hard in just your hand. But all it is is the trajectory. Woo! I'm good, I'm good right now. Oh, y'all smoke weed anymore, I forgot. No, I do, but then, no, dude. I'm fucking... Just taking a little break, and then we're going to Japan anyway in a few days. Although I'm probably gonna smoke before then. How many of these do you think you can fit in your ass? <laughs> these can go up in there. Oh shit! With the battery? <laughs> this is just hanging out. Yeah. And they're like, "What is that? Hey, my charging port." Yeah. Come on, we said. Which way? Yeah. Never seen an AI before. This shit says artificial intelligence. Yeah, come on, I'm half robot. That's why I'm in Japan. Yeah, come on. Yeah. That's AI right there, dude. Ooh, miserable robots. <laughs> Analog and digital. <laughs> So, Crazy. you know you just for like the sake of showing you something that actually has it. Oh, I like that. Call killer mics, huh? Yeah. What you know about government, bitch, I'm running That's what it's- <laughs> Fake friends thing. Yeah. I just don't really feel like- Oh, it's just fake. I was like, what's yeah. AK? Yeah, no, no, me too. I just feel like it's like, it brings bad energy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I don't have fake friends. Yeah. How the fuck am I wearing yeah. that? It's true. It's kind of emo. You know what I mean? It's like kind of yeah. drakey. Yeah, yeah. It's out of here. Dude! Hey, you. I already know you're crazy. Go, 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 go. Old man. Yeah. Today you're on shoe cleaning. 101. You're crazy. So you're done? Yeah, I guess so. We might as well. I mean, there's nothing else to do until later. We got a lot to do later. Dog. Here's the other motherfucking Goshen. Oh, Here's shit. The other motherfucking marble. What the fuck? I gotta try these pants on because these might be going too. You see this? I went to take a pic, but I don't know if you realized. I tried to. I tried to a little, but it's like. Oh, it's not coming off? Yeah, it's pretty deep. Here, see? What the fuck are you talking about, Aaron? Oh, it came off. You're so ridiculous. Dude, I scrubbed for 10 minutes. The exact thing. I picked it up. I was like, oh shit, it's dirty. And I fucking scrubbed the shit out of it. That is weird. I'm telling you. Baby. Baby, let me get the keys to the rover truck. Baby, let me get the keys to the rover truck. Okay, so we're uh, in some random parking lot right now. Turn it around. But 
but we're gonna go by the dispensary because I need to get some more wax because yesterday didn't really have shit. Actually, I'm just gonna call them before we do that. I'll use technology my advantage real quick. Not yet, it's been ordered, but their vendor has the flu, so it may be a day or two. Okay, cool. I was just gonna see if I needed to come by there today or another day, so I'll wait. All right, they don't have shit. So far, the Tesla is really fun to drive. It's really cool. I haven't had a car in so long that it's weird because I feel like I should just go places. But I don't really have anywhere to go, so I'm not gonna go anywhere. I'm gonna go grab some Chick-fil-A because I'm fucking starving, and I'm not gonna get any Chick-fil-A the whole time I'm in Tokyo, I don't think. I don't think. I'm kind of stressed a little bit. So we have the lookbook coming for friends and family. And I have all these other drops coming. Tattoos appointments are all scheduled for LA. I have some openings still because it's in the midweek and people like that. Those days kind of suck for people. Openings if you're free and you want to get in. me at gmail.com. But we're trying to finish up this lookbook, organize this shoe and kith sale, deal with regular business stuff like our regular, you know, customer service and shit like that. And pack for Japan. Basically six weeks include, if you include LA. So let's go. Like when I used to own cars, never got my car washed because I was broke. I wasn't about to spend no fucking money on no damn car wash. But all this snow, getting the car washed. Getting the call too. You know how to get this neutral and all that good stuff. Okay, yeah, with the Teslas, we usually don't find out until someone gets down what? there. What? So. Maybe it's up. Maybe it's a half click okay, up. So let's put it in park. Sometimes it can be so tricky. All right, now put it on and then it, I, think I wonder it, if my foot's off the brake and I put it in drive if it goes in. Maybe. It's good. I know we're just doing it in the wrong order here. Um, let's see. Let's do. Hey, hey, Rubes, you, you good with the Teslas in the neutral? How do you put a Tesla Wait. Model Three in neutral? So, so here. Press the pedal on the or back or <laughs> down. Sorry. Press what pedal? That. Or yeah, the one that you're holding. Oh, right now. down. Yeah. Mm, usually. Oh, there yeah. you go. So if you want to put. I don't know how you did that. Yeah. So if you want to put it into drive, it, that's the easiest, and then hold it up again, uh, slightly. Yeah. Keep holding it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, so usually, like if you, a... yeah, if you hold it about like 10, 15 seconds, okay. it helps out with that neutral. It's uh, not that easy to put a Tesla in neutral, by the way. There it is. Got it? Yep. Okay, no break. All right. Damn, it's like the club, though. Hot lava Tesla club tonight. Uh, wet and wild. Damn, son. It's a graphic. Look at that. Soapy reveal. So the day is winding down. Basically just a bunch of, uh, at this point, I'm just preparing for the drop, preparing for the next drop, and preparing to get out of town. I have to leave really soon for LA and then Tokyo, and there's just like so much. But uh, today, one thing that happened did not happen to me. Well, we gotta take a dab first. Okay. So for those of you that don't know, I like to talk shit. I like to commentate. It's the internet. I like to speak on things as I see fit from my mind whenever I feel like it, you know, without hurting anybody's feelings. Try not to hurt anybody's feelings anyway. And then people get really mad at me. A lot of people go like, oh, you talk so much shit about Nike. Like, oh, uh, uh. it's like, dog, I talk shit all day. I make jokes. I'm a fucking comedian, dog. Like, I just happen to have impeccable fashion and be able to make art and, you know, look good. But I just, like, I make fun of shit. You know what I'm saying? And some people for the last, I don't know how long, have gotten under the assumption that I'm brand loyal to Adidas. I want to get one thing straight. I'm loyal to myself. I'm loyal to me. And myself changes a lot. But I'm loyal to me and what I want in the moment. Like right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to be held to anything I've said when I was 11. You know? Or even 32. You know what I'm saying? So I do what I want with great uh, consideration, you know? So, I talk a lot of shit about Nike. Like, this week, I've been going off about these fucking crazy-ass shoes they're releasing. One, one, so to speak, would be a great example would be the Foam Posit Low. I think the best thing to happen to the Foam Posit at this point is if they destroyed the mold again. Um, things like that. But today, also, Adidas. So, Adidas sent out, not even today, but Adidas sent out a shoe to a friend of mine, Rack. You guys know Rack. And, uh, they sent it out to Tony D a couple of weeks ago. You guys know Tony D. By the way, if you watch Tony D and you haven't caught up to date, with the drama, which there is no drama, uh, stop leaving me comments before you check other people's videos because I don't like that shit had been handled. You don't know what you're talking about. Moving on. So Adidas has been sending out this shoe. They did this with the asterisk last week and they did it this week now. I guess they're doing with the night jogger. Oh. <sighs> 
Man. It's just, so here's the thing. Do I think Virgil from Off-White invented exposed foam in the tongue of a shoe? No. I don't. Do I think that Adidas used to do it back in the day in the 70s? No, they didn't. I don't, I, I've never seen it before. I've seen other runners that are stitched where you can see like a rough edge for sure. But I don't remember in the 70s and the 80s, which I wasn't buying these shoes either, there even being really like much foam in the tongue. Foam tongues seem to have come later and it seemed to have been something that was sort of adaptive off of skateboarding if I remember correct. But I could be, I don't know. Um, I know that foam tongues were also in Jordans and shit, but I feel like runners, like the waffle and shit, did not have foam tongues. Uh, anyway, moving on. There is a thing called context, and when you look at a shoe now and you see exposed foam, you automatically think of Virgil when you think of the Off-White collection, and you think of the 10, which is actually like 36, but, you know, whatever. Someone's gonna comment. Someone's already typing out right now. It's just different colorways, bro. It's still not, like, it just should've picked a different marketing campaign. Why not just call it the 30, 36 Chamber? Off white in the 36 chamber. Um, whole shoe is like kind of cool, except for the fact that what Adidas seems to have been doing in this originals department is, or at least in this area, is they took the Aniki, they took the name off, they changed it to I-593. No one really likes it now because they changed the name. Like Aniki just sounded better. And then I-593, I feel like, I don't know the statistics. This is just like my perception. So someone who's like reading all of the analytics might be like, ah, oh, Teddy, you're wrong. We made $6 billion, fuck you. I don't know. But it seems to me like I-593, and now they've just started doing all these different little projects around it. Pasting shit, like ever since the Wave Runner, it's been a lot of paneling, you get a lot of suede paneling on shoes. So just fine, like even like the, this is a perfect example. You know, it's like almost underneath this, you have a prime knit base, like almost, you know, you almost imagine like a PK base underneath this. And then just all kinds of just different angles and cuts of panels on top of that. Like that's pretty much it. Like there's not a lot of extra parts to the shoe. It's more just about fusing more shit to the upper, which is all well and good and great and fine and whatever. And that night jogger is really not that bad looking. Like the M looks good. Black and orange contrast is nice. Nike's been doing that for years. So, I mean, it was like an okay look, but then I didn't even notice there's that fucking tongue where the shit is exposed, where the foam is exposed. And it's just like, dog, why would you let that out? Like, why would so, like, who creatively directed and checked that off and was like, yeah, we're not gonna, that's not gonna fucking have people just like automatically think of the other shit. And I guess maybe that leads to sales in some places. Like maybe there's people out there exist that are like so into like the off-white shit that they can't get and they're like, oh, and they like Adidas and they're like, oh, cool, I like that. I'm, just, I'm not one of them. One thing other people forget like about social media and this shit is when I say something, it's my opinion or else I wouldn't be saying it. <laughs> or just like leave comments like, well, that's just your opinion. Well, no fucking shit. Hey man, you need to chill out. Like, what do you mean I need to chill out? Like I'm on the internet. If you're on Twitter and you're scrolling through and you don't see something you like, turn, turn your phone off. Go do something else, dog. Like, I'm not gonna change who I am to fucking fit your idea of what I should be talking about at 3.36 p.m. on whatever day it is. Sure, yeah, like from the side of like, does it make money and will it bring in money? Sure, great. Like, and people are always, that's always people's response to shit is, it made money. It's just like when people say, well, we're talking about it, must be doing something right, which is not true. I talk about cancer and I don't think any of us think cancer is doing something right. Sorry to be extreme, but it's one of the stupidest fucking sayings in the world, you know? You get on a school bus and you fart, they're gonna talk about you. It does not mean that you've done anything right. It just means that you're a fucking asshole. And Adidas can do whatever they want, I just, it's not what I appreciate. I didn't appreciate that asterisk thing and them trying to like throw Kid Cudi in the mix and just like, so, like I just feel like a lot of these things are kind of phoned in. They're trying to tell stories now, but the stories aren't being told and don't really make a lot of sense. And it's just kind of like, all right, it's just an Aniki that y'all put a bunch of panels on, you know? It's a bunch of, it's like the premium material game now. It's like, let's just continuously build on it. And that's like why I appreciate this shoe so much. Because at least with this shoe from this year, last year, um, I at least feel like this is like, because it's so bulbous and buggy and like just kind of weird, it at least just like looks different on the street. I saw a guy washing his car today in the Jordan and I was just like, man. That shit's wild. I, no offense, but some of them shits look like couches, dog. This dude had a blue and white couch, and it looked like it had a spinner rim on the side. Remember them shoes that had spinners? But anyway, um, so yeah, no hate. It's just like, I just critique things. Like, I like art, and shoes to me are art, so I critique them. And I, it's no different when I go to a restaurant, and I'm like, ah, this sushi was whack. And no one's like, hey, man, it's just dinner. Chill. 
you know, so it's just like, that's what we do. We hear people make things, we comment on those things. Collectively, a decision is kind of like understood and so shoe companies want feedback. So someone from Adidas is watching this and someone from Adidas hates me for it, but I don't really care. Cause you know, I don't like it. I also don't have to like it. Cause I'm not the fuck person that's buying it. If you like it, you should buy it. That's great. The 3M flashes on it look spectacular. I think the 3M shit is great. And all the shit they sent Tony is really cool. Like that's all really cool stuff. And no, I'm not jealous that I don't get sent free shoes. I have too many shoes as it is. You send me free shoes. I'm very blessed. It's not ever on some jealousy shit. I can get, I can get the shoe. Cause my friends at StockX love me and I love them. Cause I got StockX. Cause I got StockX. Um, and plugs. <clears throat> but yeah, so that's just my beef with it. And that's just like, I, I just don't like the same thing. Just like I don't like that Robocop casual fucking phone posit. Whew, that thing is rough. There's some other crazy shit I saw. I don't know what that thing was called. Someone tweeted me a picture of it. I was like, oh my God. I don't know what it was. Um, as far as shoes that are coming out, I have no idea. I mean, I know I don't, I know this is like kind of, it's like kind of negative to only talk about stuff you don't like. But I honestly have been so busy. I haven't been paying attention to releases. And I don't feel like we've really heard anything yet. Because the first of the year is just gearing up. It's just like Yeezy fucking mafia leaks and there's nothing from the future Yeezy line that doesn't have boost that I'm interested in. Like that crazy one that looks like a stalactite memorial to the V2. Yeah, it looks like it's just like funk. Looks like the middle ground like we wear regular shoes like the V2s like a knit upper. That 451 looks like, it looks like boost is overtaking it but it's not but so it's like, like some sort of uh symbiotic suit that's coming from the ground like a venom suit so maybe it's like a clue that eventually you're just gonna step on the ground and then the from the ground some sort of cushion will come around and wrap around your whole foot and then you walk forward maybe maybe this is the evolution of that because that's what the fuck it looks like but I don't think I'm interested in that shoe. Maybe if it was Black Boost. It's not Boost. I keep thinking it's Boost on the outside. That thing's crazy. So crazy. Uh, shoes are crazy. Shoes are crazy right now. It's gonna be an interesting fucking year. But you can expect this. I'm not going anywhere. Well, I'm going to Japan actually, but I'm gonna commentate on shit. Like I'm not gonna review shoes every day or anything by any means, but when I see something, I'm gonna say something unless it's like, you know, the way that the police mean it. Yo! No. Stop! Dude! Stop. I think that's pretty much it. I forgot where I left off because of the dogs, but I gotta go. It's getting late. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I have a new phone coming because I cracked my screen. I cracked my screen, got a replacement that's not cracked. I've been trying to keep this one not cracked for 48 hours. The XS Max is supposed to be here today. All this shit going on before I leave. So, and then of course the car is amazing. So I never thought I'd like a car, but I've actually been really enjoying driving. I haven't had a car in so long that it feels weird. Like it just feels, I almost feel like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it. All right, I'm out of here. And that shoe and kid sale is gonna be really soon. I would expect in the next like day or two. Friends and family, you're gonna get first crack at it. Kinda. You're gonna get sent a list of what's going up first and you guys can like, hold on. Yo, I'm still waiting on these guys. I just don't know if they're going to have it by the end of today, all these shirts. That's the only issue. It's okay. We'll figure it out when you get here. Okay. You want me to just come there now? Um, You can come here whenever, I guess. Okay. Then I, I might as well I'll just come over now. I'll be there in like uh, 20 minutes. Okay. All right. Peace. peace. There you have it. That's what I'm going to go do. Meeting with Learn to finish everything we have to finish. I'm out. And the drop. Yeah. Friends and family, you're going to get the list first of everything with the prices. You can email back within like a certain time frame. It's a very short time frame and it's very first come first serve. And we will invoice you, like PayPal invoice you and you can get it. Everything else will go to the public, priced more reasonably than anywhere else in the world, I'm sure. It is what it is. I love y'all. I'll explain why I'm selling what I'm selling tomorrow, I guess. All right.